What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and also the S10e and you can see over here we do have the new Galaxy Buds included with my pre-order purchase so we will be unboxing those and setting everything up as well in this video. And of course this is going to be from an Apple fanboy perspective. I'm really interested to see these because I know everything Apple Pro actually switched to the S10 so I'm interested to see how much better it is than iPhone if it's better at all. I mean I'm probably not going to switch from iPhone ever but it will be really interesting to see how these stack up against Apple's latest flagship phones, the iPhone XS Max. And of course, we're going to compare the S10e to the iPhone XR in a later video as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So let's go ahead and unbox the S10 Plus first. You can see on the back here, I did get the 128 gig variant, which does have the 8 gigabytes of RAM, but it can go up to 12 gigabytes if you get the 1 terabyte model. I also got the 128 and the S10e as well. So we're just going to cut this strip real quick now we can go ahead and get into the box i'm just going to set these off to the side for now and focus on the s10 plus so right when you open it up you can see that we get the s10 plus right away no paperwork or anything in the way we have the phone right off the bat and you can see i did get it in the prism white so this color is actually really really unique so we're going to go ahead and take the plastic off of this Gotta love that sound. Now we have the S10 Plus in all its glory. You can see that triple camera setup on the back. Man, that takes up a lot of real estate on the back as expected, but wow. I mean, I'm hoping to get some amazing pictures with this. I'm definitely gonna compare it to the iPhone as well to see how much better having three lenses is. And I can already tell just from touching this thing a few times that this is definitely gonna be a fingerprint magnet as expected with this glass backing here. But I must say that I absolutely love this color. It's very unique, very different, unlike any phone that I have. So I'm definitely a big fan of this prism white color here on the S10 Plus. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the box. You can see we have our power brick right here with a USB connector. Of course, this is going to be charged via USB-C. We do also have an adapter in here. And then we have the AKG headphones right here. As expected, they do come in the white color as well. AKG headphones have always been pretty good to me. I actually really like these. I prefer these over the headphones that are included with the iPhones nowadays. And the sound quality wise, I do also prefer these over the AirPods. But Keep in mind that these are not wireless. These do have a cord because the S10 does still have the headphone jack. So yeah, that's something that iPhones obviously have not had in a long time. And I personally do not care about having a headphone jack. I mean, I guess it's all right if it's there. I'm just not gonna use it, but it's nice that it's at least included here on the S10. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that the S10 and the S10 Plus and the S10e as well all come with a built-in screen protector on the screen, which I think is a really cool idea here from Samsung. This is really going to help preserve that screen and make sure you don't get any scratches on it. I mean, it is, you know, Gorilla Glass, but I'm sure, you know, people have scratched their phones in the past with Gorilla Glass. So it's nice that they actually included the screen protector on there. And you can see it's a perfect cutout uh, for the front facing cameras there, which of course have been a big meme lately. A lot of people making fun of the built-in camera there, but of course we have the notch on the iPhone. So you're going to get something like that on the front of the phone, at least in 2019. We do also have another box in here. I'm not really sure what this is. So let's go ahead and see. This is, oh, this is the charging cable, of course, the USB charging cable to charge up our S10, of course, via the power adapter here, the power brick, I should say. We do have the adapter if we needed that as well. So that's everything in the box. We do have the pamphlets in the front side or the top side, I should say. So now let's go ahead and boot up the phone and check it out. And while this guy is booting up, let's go ahead and unbox the S10e here. So I'm sure it's going to be the exact same. So we're not going to go through everything in the packaging. But you can see here we do have the S10e, obviously a lot smaller. And of course, I did get this in the prism black color. So we do have all black accessories, which I wish, again, Apple would do. I wish they would match the color of the phone with the accessories. I wish they would match in color instead of just always being white. So big props to Samsung for doing that. I really like that you know, very small touch. And man, I'm a big fan of this color as well, but this is definitely smaller. So this feels like the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 10s, And this of course feels like the iPhone 10s Max. So the S10 Plus has a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display, which is a new display this year. And the S10e has a 5.8 inch display. And of course there on the back, you can see we only have a dual camera setup. It is in the same place 
as the S10 Plus, but we do only have two cameras instead of three. So let's go and take off this plastic so we can see it in its full glory. And man, these phones are just so, so shiny. They definitely are major fingerprint magnets. So I would definitely recommend getting a case right off the bat for your brand new S10. And of course we have the headphone jack here on the S10e as well, along with the USB-C connector right there and our speaker grill at the bottom, just like on the S10 Plus. And then on the front, we do have a single camera instead of a dual camera like we have on the S10 Plus, but we do also have the built-in screen protector here on the S10e. All right, so now let's briefly just go through the setup process here and check out a few things inside of the S10 Plus here. So let's go ahead and start. We're in English. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the voice just because I don't wanna keep hearing that. Let's go ahead and click on next. And you can see we now get the prompt to transfer our data from our old phone if we wanted to. I'm gonna set it up as new, but you can see you get the option here. You could do it wirelessly with another Samsung Galaxy device, or if you have an iPhone or any other type of Android, you can do it via a cable and USB connector. But again, I'm just gonna skip for now because I am setting this up as new. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi network now. Now we are checking for any kind of software updates and I'm not expecting to get one, but we'll see. All right, so no software updates and then it gives you the prompt to sign in with your Google account. I'm just gonna skip this for now just because I wanna get through this. I will go to this and, and set this all up once I'm actually inside the phone. Now we get the prompt to protect your phone. It says prevent others from using this phone without your permission by activating device protection features. And you can see we have multiple different things here. Now the ones I'm so interested in are the in-display finger print sensor and of course I am interested in trying out facial recognition here as well so we're gonna do fingerprints and then you can see we get the animation here for scanning our fingerprint using the in display fingerprint sensor so you can see right there really cool so let's go and try it out so you do have to press a little bit harder than I expected so it's like a 3d touch on the iPhone but it's pretty much the same setup process as you get on other phones with an actual physical home button and display sensor. But again, this is inside of the display. So that is awesome. All right, so we're still trying to get a full scan here. I'm putting my finger in different ways and we have our fingerprint added and that was actually pretty quick. So it does also give you the option to add another fingerprint, which is pretty cool. But of course, I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this video. And then I'm not gonna sign into my Samsung account and you can skip on all of these for now. And then we're all done. So let's go ahead to the home screen, finish up. And now we should be on the home screen as you can see right there. Man, this display is just beautiful. I can already tell a major difference from the iPhone. So yeah, I am a big fan of this display already. I can already tell that the display is going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and set up the S10e now because I am interested in the fingerprint sensor on the side button here, the power button, instead of in the display. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so you can see here's the animation for the S10e. It shows using the side button there. It says, place your finger on the sensor, then lift it off when you feel a vibration. The sensor is on the power key on the right side of the phone. So we're just going to put my thumb on and off there just like we would do with a fingerprint sensor on the front of the phone it's a little bit tricky a little bit different something to get used to but i am getting the hang of it here so i'm just trying to get different parts of my thumb on the fingerprint sensor this one definitely takes a lot longer than the fingerprint sensor on the s10 plus just because it's very different it's not what you're used to i find my thumb going a little bit lower than where the button actually is and i must say that the s10e feels amazing in the hand i have medium sized hands and i think the iphone 10s max is pretty much pushing it it's very huge and you can't use it with one hand. Same with the S10 Plus, but the S10e I can easily use with one hand and I like that. And you can see the display there on the S10e, also impressive, but definitely not near as impressive as the S10 Plus display. And like I said, we have a 5.8 inch display here on the S10e versus a 6.4 inch here on the S10 Plus. And there are a couple other differences between the S10e and the S10 Plus as well. Again, the S10e is very much like the iPhone XR. We have the same Snapdragon 8 55 processor in both of these but we do have more ram in the s10 plus we have two gigabytes more ram here and the s10 plus with eight gigabytes we have six gigabytes of ram here and the s10e we do also have a 3100 milliamp hour battery in the s10e versus a 4100 milliamp hour battery in the s10 plus so definitely going to get better battery life on the S10 Plus, but it's probably not gonna be as big as those numbers make it seem because the S10e doesn't have to power such an amazing display like the S10 Plus does. So now when I'm trying to get into my S10 Plus, it's not actually unlocking it for me. And I think it's because I put my thumb like this most of the time instead of doing the side. So I would recommend that when you set up your S10 Plus or your S10 to use kind of the side of your thumb if you're right-handed or if you're left-handed, use the inside of your thumb. I guess it's the inside on both fingers, but 
Anyways, you see what I mean? I, I wish I didn't press straight down like that since I am looking down at the phone. I'm not naturally going to be, you know, putting my thumb on there like that. I'm going to be coming from the side. So I wish I would have done that. So that's a little pro tip for you guys when you set up your S10. Now I am very curious to try out this triple camera setup. I am just gonna take a quick test photo just to see how it works and how it switches between these cameras. And okay, so we have this little button here to change between the lenses, which is pretty cool. So you can see right there, that is the wide angle and then we can zoom in and then the 2X right there. So pretty cool. Look at that wide range of view there with that wide angle lens. Man, that is actually really, really impressive. I'm really going to like this camera. I can already tell. And then finally, I did just want to unbox the Samsung Galaxy Buds here really quick. These are the competitor to the Apple AirPods, of course, which did come out back in 2016. So you can see here, the case is definitely different than we have on the AirPods. It's a lot wider. It actually feels pretty good. Uh, you can't fidget with it. It doesn't look like and let's see what this box is in here. I believe this is just the cable. Yes, yeah, so that's just how we charge it and everything. So let's take a look real quick at the Galaxy Buds. I know you guys didn't come for this, but I just want to show them off real quick. You can see here we have like a little light blue accent on the inside and the headphones themselves, the earphones actually go into your ear canal a lot more than something like the AirPods would. So I like that. I have heard they are comfortable. I'm going to put them in real quick just to tell you if I think they're comfortable or not. And yes, these guys are actually surprisingly comfortable in the ear. Ear. And you can see here, right when I took them out and put them in my ear, you can see I got this pop up here on my S10 Plus. But you can see here, let's go ahead and try to connect these to see how easy the process is. So we do have to allow and allow. We don't have to do that on the AirPods. The AirPods connect right away. So I already like the AirPods set up a lot better than these buds. And then we do have to set up as well and everything like that. So yeah, now they are connected. So definitely a much better setup with the AirPods as expected, but you can see the process is pretty simple here on Samsung as well. And we still have to allow a lot of things here for the Galaxy Buds, which is kind of annoying. And let's go ahead and agree to this. And you can see we have all of these things in here that we still have to do. Again, I wish it would just come out of the box and just work like it does with the AirPods, but Oh, well, it shows you how to use them and everything right there, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is my unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, the S10e, and also the new Galaxy Buds. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I actually really like these devices so far. Uh, again, I don't think I'm going to switch to Samsung. I can't say I won't for sure, but I don't think I am. I may actually switch to these as my other daily driver for a while. I don't know. I'll let you know in a video coming to the channel, probably within the next week or two is when I'll make my decision. Of course, be on the lookout for some speed test comparisons between these devices compared to Apple devices like we're going to be putting the S10e up against the iPhone 10R, and then of course the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus up against the iPhone 10s Max and we may also do that against the 10R as well just to see which one is faster. And I will also have other content on these devices as well. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. Let me know what you guys think about these products down in the comment section below. I am really interested to see what your thoughts are on these devices because I think they are absolutely beautiful. I can already start to understand why everything Apple Pro switch to Samsung, even though I do think he will eventually switch back to iPhone. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe for a lot more content like this. I'm going to be doing Samsung and also Apple content as well. Don't worry. I will stay with the Apple and the iPhone content as well. But anyways, thanks again for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you soon.